Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces December 23, 2022. The sun begins its transit of your sector of career and reputation today, pushing your ambitions to the front burner in the month ahead. It's a strong period for taking charge of your life and focusing on your long-term goals. You're taking the lead. You're also more accountable and noticeable than usual. Assuming more responsibilities can be part of this, or it's a time for tapping into your ambitions and a goal-oriented approach. You can come to a high point of the year in your career or reputation. People in positions of power are more likely to notice and listen to you. Improving your life and rising to challenges can be satisfying in the coming weeks. Today, however, there can be some resistance or blocks that hint it's probably not yet the best time to push forward and enforce your will. Adjustments are necessary as the Sun, newly at the top of your chart, and Jupiter, newly in your sign, form a tense square. Tensions can stem from impatience with rules and regulations or a desire to go your own way when the world seems to want something else. Missing details or overshooting can lead to errors. Try to center yourself, as the tendency is to scatter your attention and energies, which can work against you. The potential for going over the top runs high right now. For best results, avoid exaggeration and arrogance. Welcome to a whole new zodiac sign season. Today marks the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere. This is also the onset of Capricorn, as the sun blazes a trail into the cardinal earth sign. This is an especially important period because it is the onset of the coldest months of the year and encourages us to step away from the darkest day. Going forward, the nights will get shorter, and the days will get longer. This is a crucial period to turn within to consider the legacies you build in your personal and romantic life and how you'd like to improve them going forward. The cosmos are changing today. The moon will enter Sagittarius while the sun enters Capricorn, encouraging you to refocus your attention. Your professional journey is in review during the lunar ingress since you might be inspired to seek new horizons. Luckily, Capricorn season is the time to double down on your career path. If you have been waiting for an opportunity to forge forward, now is the time to do it. However, you will need to be serious about following a protocol to pursue professional accomplishments, an improved status, and a remarkable legacy. The moon's departure from your financial sector yesterday has left you with your financial instincts and imagination fueled and a download of information to unpack. However, the focus shifts to the other side of the fence as Venus, the planet of money moves into a friendly aspect to Uranus in your income sector just as she moves into her final 12 days in your career sector. Venus is working to squeeze as much as she can from the final days of this financial and professional year. Today's energy has a great personal impact. The deeper you go to find your truth, the brighter you will shine. There is a tendency for you to be somewhat afraid of risk, to appear selfish and stubborn to others because of a fear of the unknown. Give yourself the permission to explore yourself without fear. Treat yourself to a deep tissue massage, if possible the journey of relaxation and free association could be a gentle way to unlock what's inside, just waiting to get out and enrich your life. It's a great day to talk. This is the day, an expression will come readily and easily for you. Make the most of this opportunity by facing the issues in your life that you have had trouble handling recently. You'll find that confronting the people involved won't be as uncomfortable. Take the time to think about how you feel, and what you think needs to be said. Then make a move to get together with the other parties. Allow your creativity to assist you in expressing yourself and to work towards a reconciliation. While the sun will leave your sector of adventure, travel, learning and discovery today, ending all planetary activity in this adventurous part of your chart for the year, the moon will stay on to keep the spirit of adventure alive for at least another day. However, with the moon not only following the sun into your career sector tomorrow but as a new moon, this is something that needs to be embraced. While the sun will always spend Christmas and the holiday period in your career sector, for the first time in 32 years when the moon leaves an adventurous part of your chart it will leave it empty. 
Life takes a busy turn today and while the sun will leave an adventurous part of your chart, the moon will stay on for another day. Holding on to the spirit of adventure is key to making sure life doesn't become all work and no play, with a need to leave room for not just play but for matters of the heart and your relationships. Our eyes in the sky. The sun moves into Capricorn today, marking the solstice and beginning of winter. This ambitious sign lends us plenty of resilience as we navigate the holiday season. A square between the sun and Jupiter gives us the opportunity to communicate bluntly, but try to avoid being too matter-of-fact with people who are especially sensitive. The energy here can also cause our focus to shift toward the things we want to accomplish before the year ends, while considering our goals and resolutions as we continue to inch toward 2023. You feel impatient, on edge, unable to relax, it's particularly difficult to find any peace. If you're normally calm and well-balanced this is the stimulation you need to put plans you have been thinking about for a long time into action. With such an enterprising attitude you may be overstretched, if you feel on edge, allow yourself the peace you need. If you enjoy buying yourself something new, go ahead and do it. You have the means to do so, and it's about time you treated yourself. Your finances allow you to make a small investment and you are sensible enough not to overspend. An opposition between the Sagittarius Moon and Mars retrograde can put us in touch with our personal power without sacrificing our sympathy toward others. Remember that helping others and you can helps you score karma points while providing an excellent outlet for this aspect. The energy here could make people a bit insensitive and more oriented around themselves, so try not to lose touch with your empathy, and avoid triggering discussions that could lead to arguments. Energy levels could take a hit as well, so try to pace yourself if you start to feel sluggish. If you can, go to bed a bit earlier tonight. In the late afternoon, the sun exits broad-minded Sagittarius and enters tenacious Capricorn, the sign of the sea goat. Its ingress corresponds to the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere, marking the shortest and longest days of the year respectively. During Capricorn season, we seek to erect stable foundations upon which to build an enterprise. Our goals may be work-oriented, aligned with Capricorn perseverance, or relationship-oriented, aligned with Capricorn loyalty. Capricorn is a cardinal earth sign. It archetypally resonates with initiation, as well as with grounding our desires and visions into a tangible container. For any great work to be accomplished, we must be aware of the time, resources, and energy that we can devote to it. We must persist despite stacked odds, yet also know when to cut our losses. Here, we have a true opportunity to work literal magic, pulling our imaginative designs out of the ether, turning our fantasies into realities. In the late afternoon, the sun squares off with Jupiter in Aries, an aspect that will play a role in the upcoming December 23rd new moon. This transit makes us indulgent and overly optimistic. We can lose focus and become less disciplined in our work, believing that everything will organically sort itself out without applied attention. However, the Capricorn sun is an especially committed sun, so we have less to worry about in terms of follow-through. In fact, that may be the central problem. During the Sun-Jupiter square, we risk zealously making too many promises under the assumption that we can accomplish whatever we set our minds to. In the heat of the moment, we have no doubt that our initiatives will succeed. Yet when the dust settles, we may find that we've taken on too many assignments and we are unable to quit any of them. The best approach now is to wait and think about things before committing. Give yourself a week before firming up any plans. 